We've got like two hour window this morning uh, before these catabatic wings will finish. It's 7 a.m. so it's early start. Off to Zuatarejo. Isla Grande has been really good to us but it is time to move on. We've been here probably a week now. Time has flown by and uh, Zihuatanejo awaits. Can't wait to get there. One of the few ways to sail in this part of the coast is to get up early <laughs> and do it with the, uh, the land breeze that develops overnight. Uh, so we have a little bit of time, probably enough to make the eight miles down to Zihuatanejo uh, under sail uh, before these winds die uh, when the sun comes up too high in the sky. So here we go, hopefully a couple of hours of calm sailing. The chub chub, more sailing, less chatting. <laughs> Got an hour and a half of wind. <laughs> Seems like the early bird catches the wind. We got up this morning at 6 a.m. to have this, this glorious morning breeze. It really seems like that the wind blows only for two hours every morning. So hopefully we can make it on the sail. Captain promised he will do his best, so let's see about that. Because <laughs> we all know that his best is a bit iffy. <laughs> should always be wary when this captain promises his best. <laughs> Something's gonna happen. Well, Isla Grande's been really good to us and uh, didn't quite get to try every restaurant, but uh, really great place to unwind and relax after all of our miles under the keel. Uh, we really just needed to take it easy for a little while and uh, slow down for a bit and uh, that's exactly what Isla Life provided. I will remember all those fish tacos and margaritas forever, I promise. The captain just said breakfast and coffee would be nice. Well, wouldn't it just? But you know, Pedro's cafeteria doesn't work on demand, <laughs> does it? I've got a beautiful sunrise to look at. Don't want to be down below frying and brewing and toasting, do I? Isn't that your job? <laughs> no, it's not. Pretty sure that's what it said in the job description. Not sitting here, feet up, looking at the sunrise. It's in my contract. I get to see the daylight for two hours every day. Dawn and dusk. Dawn and dusk. After food service. <laughs> and a light wipe of the cockpit. <laughs> Talking of which, I better get the bucket. <laughs> Cup of coffee would be nice. Got to admit that. Wouldn't it just? <laughs> 45 minutes of land breeze sailing already and uh, we've got about another hour and a half to go uh, both to get into the anchorage and before the wind dies so uh, it's neck and neck we're racing the sunrise at the moment literally this is the excitement we live mm. sorry nearly fell asleep haven't had my coffee yet i'm sure it's on its way must have got held up in the galley i can smell the coffee coming from the galley I knew he'd crack. Just a little bit of gentle pressure. That's all it took. Coffee service! Just as requested. No. See, he threatened he's gonna dock my wages. <laughs> there you go, sir. Oh, his lordship. How did you know? <laughs> Thank you. Can I be left alone in peace, please, and enjoy this one hour of daylight that I'm allowed? <laughs> Of course you can. You got the croissants on, right? <laughs> well, we lasted about 45 minutes, 50 minutes, and then this big mountain over here just blocked all of our wind. How rude. And now our engine woken up the giants. Well, we just got past that little hill over there and the wind is back. So uh, we're back in business. And on top of that, we're being stalked by an enormous whale following us down the coast. 
It's catching us up. Best trim, best trim. <laughs> She's gaining on us. Let's get the first mate back on sail trimming duties. Welcome to Ziwataneho. It's beautiful here. We've got a choice of two anchorages. Uh, there's the beach over here, which just looks amazing. Uh, and then there's the town uh, over here. We have a municipal uh, pier that we can land the dinghy at. Uh, we need to stock up on some supplies. Uh, so we're taking the town to start with. The water quality doesn't look that bad. We were warned that this anchorage in town is quite murky and we shouldn't swim because there's a lagoon and a little river coming out, aka Schitt's Creek. <laughs> but actually it looks all right. It's, uh, it doesn't look murky at all, but I still think we're gonna swim only on a high tide. You know, better play it safe. Finally got some neighbors, two cruising boats right here. It's lovely to see. And the town looks fantastic. This is one of the nicest backdrops I have actually seen on the Mexican mainland. We're really lucky we managed to tuck in here in the harbor so we don't have far to go on the dinghy. But we're paddling everywhere these days because the outboard is uh, well, it's on its way out, frankly. I've tried my best to save it. I keep cleaning the carburetor, uh, but there's some problem with the fuel system and uh, I can't for the life of me figure out what it is. Day one in Ziwatanejo, living the dream. Got like 10 kilos of laundry to do. Jerry can run and a disposal of crucial evidence. <laughs> I didn't drink that, he did. Looks, looks like someone already disposed of it. <laughs> Don't know where it gone. <laughs> So that would be fun, fun, fun. We landed the dinghy on the beach and began our errands. Foraging for fresh fruit and vegetables at the colorful municipal market. Only a few miles from Ziwatanejo lies the resort town and marina of Ixtapa. We scouted the area by land to check it out. It was sad to see that the marina's heyday was probably behind it. With most of the slips unoccupied and an entrance channel that keeps silting up, even Bohemia and her draft of five and a half feet would struggle to visit without a high tide. The rest of the small town was pleasant, with some luxurious hotels and a wide beach with beautiful views across the bay. We're just eyeing up all these swanky hotel pools and wondering which one we're gonna take a dip in. You got your collection of wristbands? Security guards everywhere. Literally, they ruin everything. <laughs> that one has an infinity pool. Me like. Just need to look like you belong, that's the key. <laughs> Do we? Of course. So what do you mean? No wonder we keep getting thrown out. The tools are out. Last attempt on fixing the outboard. And it looks like he did it. <laughs> and it still hasn't cut out, so that's a good news. You know, it's kind of inconclusive. It's almost like we picked up dirty fuel. Um, sometimes it runs just fine. And sometimes it's really struggling to pull any fuel uh, into the engine. I have to run it with a bit of chug to start it up. And uh, it goes to full throttle and then suddenly just like craps out. So I don't know, I can't really put my finger on it. I'm a bit out of my depth with the troubleshooting. So 
Might have to resort to some expert advice. Expert advice. Well, I know everything about that. <laughs> Let's buy a new outboard <laughs> and be done with it. Frankly, this one doesn't owe us anything, but it's done us proud for four years. It kind of feels like it might be on his last legs at the moment. We bought it from a drunken sailor in California for $100. What should we do with a drunken sailor? What should we do with a drunken sailor? Don't buy an outboard from him. Well, now I've seen it all. Look at that little sailboat planing along. It's just teasing me because I'm struggling here with the outboard. Done our laundry, picked up our fuel, got our fair fill of tacos, and now we're going to move on to the nicer part of Zivatanejo. Beautiful beach and turquoise clear waters. Not much passage planning needed for this one. I think the engine's going to be on for about two minutes. Paradise found! Playa Roja at Zivatanejo Bay is just amazing! We're only about half a mile away from the main town over there and this beach is just stunning. Lined up with palm trees, palapas, bars. What else do we want? So here we are at Playa de Roja and trust me sniffing out the one dollar beer. Is it one dollar? One dollar. I didn't even see that, it's amazing. You better order five more. First mate's got a good nose for cheap beers, hasn't he? It's not too bad here. Got to hand it to the first mate. He sniffed out a good one. We need to get ready mentally for 110 mile passage. <laughs> I don't know how much mental preparation it takes to sit there with your feet up on the teak. The tropical beach with the live music and the one dollar beers almost guaranteed an evening performance from the first mate. <laughs> she ruined me. <laughs> I didn't expect to be buying the local cheese tonight, but that's what's on offer and it looks good. We love the Oaxaca cheese, Jen. We buy it in the supermarket, we never had it. Oh from no, it's way better. Oh, I'm going to freeze it and take it back to Canada. Oh wow. Uh -huh, okay. Where it will remain frozen. <laughs> <laughs> You try. <laughs> but you know what they say, ladies. Moment on the lips, <laughs> lifetime on the hips. Um. Come for one drink. I came for a few. <laughs> and the ladies, they love me. <laughs> Tom better watch out, right? <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> well, on that note, I think it's time to get him back on board before he causes any more trouble. You either can salsa, or you can't. <laughs> Well, today will be interesting. This is our last day in Zuatanejo and we need to check out the port captain, which is probably about just over a mile at the other side of the bay. And Captain Clever here decides that we take our dinghy. Captain Clever's on the case. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> well, <laughs> The first two meters went really smoothly without any problems. The third meter, 
is where it all started to go wrong. I think it's going to be a long ride. That doesn't sound good, does it? We can't go like this for one time. <laughs> well, it was working better last time I tried. Give me a second. Plan B, we land on a beach, we get a taxi. Look at that! Like a, like a finely tuned machine! Ah, all sorted, we're free to go! Go on! It's dead! Welcome to my world! I've got my paddle ready. Ooh. How about that? Everyone had faith in the captain, I could tell. Expert on the job. Never doubted him for a second. Home sweet home and we are alive. Seriously. <laughs> no, that. There's life in the old girl yet. I knew she wouldn't let me down. Well, she just about functions. We can just about breathe a bit of life into her. Uh, but I think we will be in the market for a used outboard, a new to us outboard on our travels, if we can find one on the way down. It's pretty much time for her retirement, I think. Ready? So you two uh... are... <laughs> oh. I asked him if he wanted to start swinging. He leapt at the opportunity. <laughs> Well, this is a disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> How was it for you? <laughs> if you've been enjoying our episodes and want to inflict more of this on the towns that we visit, then please head over to www.patreon.com forward slash Sailing Bohemia, where you'll find a small menu of our favorite cocktails to choose from. You know, as I say, alcohol is the answer. Thank you so much, and cheers. If you enjoyed this episode, then please don't forget to tell YouTube all about it by commenting, liking, and sharing. See you next time.